Online media there goes to the athletic chaps. You've only been on the scene for a few months. You've won an award. I know. I thought I was just here for the wine. <laughs> Has, have you enjoyed the wine? Yeah, it's been decent. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, it's okay. Monday. I shouldn't be drinking this much. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, so, how do you sum it up then? Only a few months uh, on the scene of the, with the athletic, and, and you've got silverware already. I mean, we didn't know anyone was reading us, so it's quite a relief to see that people not only read it and liked it. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. I mean, how do, you, how do you sum it up? It's been a bit of a whirlwind, I'd imagine. It's very busy, of course, and you made a big splash on the scene. Yeah, it is. I, I think people talk about the splash a lot. For us, oh yeah, oh yeah. For, for us, it was okay. We've all left. A little ripple, was it? No, but it was more just we've left jobs to do something we really believed in, sure. and we take it really seriously. And we wanted to make sure that we're providing football fans with really, really good content mm -hmm. that they enjoyed. And you know, something like this really matters a hell of a lot yeah. because. We're not writing for national audiences, we're writing for fans, mm -hmm. and if fans are enjoying it, then we've started to do our job really well. Yeah, and, uh, and people are on board with it quite clearly. I mean, The Athletic, there's a, there's a, there's a, a breadth of stuff that, that's on there. I mean, any particular, I'm going to ask you the, the tough question here, any particular pieces that have stood out or, 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 um, or, or subject matters? I, I mean, there's been some really good stuff, like such as that might have been national attention. So. David Ornstein's Ozil interview was, you know, an incredible thing to have. But then one of my favourite things was Tim Spears talking about the slightly urine-riddled tunnel that uh, Wolves fans had to walk through to get to a game and why the closing of that tunnel was a major thing to Wolves fans. That's the sort of stuff that, you know, in a, in a way you don't get elsewhere for probably some reasons that are obvious. But... Um, for us to do that is quite good fun because it meant something to Wolves fans. Yeah, and I think that no, yeah. it's those stories yeah, that we like. Boring. Yeah. <laughs> very, very boring. But do, you, but do you think that nonsense? Do you think uh, do you think that's it with the athletic? You know, you, you go in depth in these perhaps more sort of niche subjects at times about you know fans pissing in a tunnel, you know that kind of thing. But people are obviously liking it, you know, and you, and you have a bit more freedom perhaps to do that kind of thing. There is you've got to, you've got to tap into what m entertains those fans. Mm. So what's interesting to a Norwich fan might not be the same that's interesting to a United fan that's interesting to a Derby fan, and so. It's working out and we're still learning all the time what kind of makes those fans tick yeah and that's a challenge isn't it to to to, to find those things and in, in, in a very saturated marketplace as well. and I think the difficult thing is you know as an editor to say right I care about all 92 clubs professional clubs in England and I can say that but do I really know loads about them no but if we set someone in the ground at all the clubs we cover then they do care and they find out things like hence why someone went to meet a ram that was stationed with Derby do you know what I mean these are things that I would never have thought of in my life but because that person knows the club inside out they do know things those things and no wonder that the writers enjoy it and hopefully we just like it Absolutely. and in 2020 is it more of the same new ideas you know can you give us a peek behind the curtain honestly we have been going four months like, <laughs> I spend most of the time going, this isn't good enough, we've got to be better. We, we've got so much to learn still about yeah, what yeah, yeah. people want. We're still experimenting all the time. We've taken on this like dozen young writers in their first jobs and I want to keep making them better and better and turn them into stars. That's what makes me excited. Well done, chaps. You're, uh, you're doing a good job and the award backs that up. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you.